guys! Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V! Last time we got ourselves a new means of transportation once again, and almost lost it once again, but this time we hang on to it for a little while. Just a little while, but a little while nonetheless. Here we are at Castle Sergate. Or Sergate, or I don't know. Who are you? Well, it doesn't really matter. Oh, I guess they aren't going to just let us walk right in. Don't you guys know who the other kings are? So one guy knows the other two guys that are supposed to be on guard duty. They have no idea. Anyway, King Zeza is leading the Sergate fleet to Exdeath Castle. One of the four warriors of dawn, as we learned, what, two, three episodes ago, whenever that was? I like Bart's backstory there. That's a, that's a, a good episode. I enjoyed that one. Anyway, this way. Let's go loot the castle. Or we could talk to you. That works, too. And that's all you're going to tell us is go loot the castle. At least he's got his priorities straight and he knows what I'm going to be doing. Alright, let's get Dash on. First things first, come up here. Memory of Zezza Comes Back, song that we sang so often. You learn the speed song. For some reason there's no uh, fanfare theme when you get it, but you get it. So there we go. And let's head on up here. Anything in that pot? No. There's not very many items in this castle. But there's lots of people to talk to. There's something very important in this book. The old is alive, right, but half of it is missing. Hmm. Sounds slightly familiar. Found an ancient book from more than a thousand years ago, but since we only have half of it, there's no way we can read the sealed book. Book contains uh, evil deeds of excess from 30 years ago. Can't allow the nightmare to repeat. What about this? Somehow recall seeing a book just like this one. Hmm. Yeah, they're not too subtle at times, but anyway. We can't find the remaining half of the book anywhere. We've looked every single book in the world. Subtlety! We have none! <laughs> you haven't figured it out, I will not spoil it for you. Forbidden Book. Okay, um, if you talk to her, everyone's been reading books, they're just leaving them around, make things worse, the bookshelves were shuffled. You put them back for me. You have to go and you have to find the right shelves to put them on. So we're going to put them on the shelf of the corresponding uh, letters. So this is DEF, or the defense shelf. And then, so we put the Forbidden Book there. The Monster Encyclopedia, I believe it's this one? Yes, the LMNOP one there. Put that one there. And the Secret of Lonka. Why do they have Secret of Lonka in this world? Wasn't that the other world that we were in? Hmm. Anyway, we'll put this on the bookshelf of Stew. And once you do that, you talk to her, and it plays an automatic cutscene, and she goes and unlocks the door with Secret Switch that you could not have done on your own. At least I don't think so. What about this book? Written by a wizard, giving a wizard dragon sword. That's the secret to your power. I'm not sure if that's a reference to like a book or a game or something, or if it's like reference to like how to beat a monster in the game or something, but man. By the way, say there's a mysterious magic that floats things in midair somewhere in the castle. Ah, the float spell. I've been missing that one. Let's go find that. Hello? Hmm. Came here from the lake up north. You know, the one surrounded by mountains. Hmm. Huge eyeballs on Lake Pier. Surprised that I'm even alive. Well, there is, I think, some money or something like that behind him, but we can't get that yet. There's 5,000 gil. Uh, so which one did I come through? This door? No, that leads outside. Oh, um, this way. There we go. And what do we have over here? There's that float spell. I believe that's the one we were missing for time magic or something like that. Either way, we now have access to the float spell. Not that we really need it, but uh, it's there now. 
We only really used the float spell once so far, and we cheesed our way to get that by uh, doing a little bit of extra crick real stuff. Alright, so now that we've done all that, we do want to head into one of the other doorways because it does lead to some shops, and an inn, and I could use a rest. Let's see, so I believe I. Did I go up this one already? Yes, I did. King's Room, okay. I knew there was one I was missing. I couldn't remember if I went to that one or not. Go down here. B1. Oh, soldiers to talk to. Here you should be able to land on King's as a ship. Well, thanks for telling me that, otherwise I wouldn't have known. Excess defense on the big bridge is very solid, but the eastern side of the continent seems to be the weak point. Commanding the fleet. Only could this barrier. Protect the castle, blah, blah, blah. Nobody says anything particularly interesting. Here's an inn, so let's just take a quick rest. Some fast forward on there. And who has the new stuff? I know somebody's got something new around here. No. Is it you? It is you. We've got new swords. We can buy the EP or however you, what the hell you pronounce that sword. Um, you can get a Bizen Katana, which I am going to pick up. It's the uh, best katana we can use right now. The Gungnir Lance is actually still worse than the ones we stole earlier in the game. The, uh, oh, what the hell were they? Whichever ones, uh, Venomax, don't need that. What are those ones? I know I still have a couple of them. Uh, where are my lances? My javelins, yeah. We're about to get to, in fact, the next dungeon, we'll finally be able to steal something better than the javelin. Um, but it's on a really rare to find monster and we'll later be able to buy those anyway. Uh, the javelins, I don't think we could ever buy. Um, it's up to you if you want to steal them, and I will point it out when we get to uh, that point. Everyone else, I believe, still has all the same crap as before. They have the same spells, so I'm not going to check that. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the castle. There's not, uh, not a whole lot to this castle, in fact. Just a little uh, side trip. Now, what do you say? Yeah, 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 here we go. So basically, they're directing us to go to uh, the east there. So let's head this way. Let's go east. And then we're going to head on down. Sorry about that. I'd, uh, little, I'm still still getting over this uh, cough here, but uh, eventually we will uh, be all better. Um, do I need to save? Yeah, I should probably save. Okay, we're back. So, um, as they said there, you can just land right on the ship, and of course, it's the uh, biggest of the ships. Since the only hear you we've seen since coming to this world has been in Ball Castle. You should probably know who's riding that. Just a thought, though. Maybe there are more that we just don't know about, but... Anyway. Say hello to an old friend. Ah. Meeting another one. Someone was mentioning in the comments how they uh, looked at Zeza and they couldn't uh, imagine anything other than uh, Krusty the Clown hair and... Now that he mentioned that, it's all I see too. <laughs> anyway, apparently this is a swordsman, but that's not going to matter. And of course, because he's a, uh, a king that we actually get to talk to that doesn't just sit on his throne, he doesn't want to be a king, he just wants to be himself. They do that way too often in JRPGs, they really do. We got everything planned out. For now, let's go inside and rest. Sounds like a plan. Let's get ready to uh, raid the uh, castle. Anything interesting? Fleet is a decoy. You can buy us a little more time. The barrier gone, we'll be able to attack Exus Castle. If we break even one of the four towers, the barrier should disappear. What towers? Anyway, let's go rest. I believe you can still fly off in the, uh, the hear you if you want to. I believe... Am I going the right way? Because there was a door up there. I can't remember if it's in the door or if it's down here. 
I'm not going to talk to you. Because I think I'm supposed to go on this side. Or maybe not. We're digging a tunnel to the ocean floor. Oh. Probably not the best place for it. You probably should have stayed at the castle if you're going to get seasick there, bud. Unfortunately, I've had to take Dash off because I'm getting prepared for upcoming events. Use the room to the right. Okay, so I was remembering that wrong. It's the room to the left in the previous ship? Anyway, let's take a nap. Guess I didn't need to rest in, uh, in the castle there, but oh well. Wait a minute. I know that music. Guess who's back? Of course he is. He's not going to go away. He's going to be our Team Rocket for the game. And yeah, he, he's not going away. But if he plays this music every time he shows up, I'm not going to complain either. Hello. Uh, you're not telling me anything new. What's going on? There are enemies coming. So let's take them down. Now, at this point, I believe a bunch of enemies just show up on the ship, and we have to take them all out if we're to proceed, because everybody else is useless. That's fine. I'll take this one. We're going to take the rest of them. Oh, and you're going to jump to the next ship. Okay, fine. All right, these guys are... Gabaldagak! They die. That's it. <laughs> I didn't even write these guys into my notes. They're, they give us some money, some experience, maybe P. Most of it's not too bad, but other than that, there's not really anything to it. I'm just going to fast forward through the battles. Hey, get, get back here. Here I come! Hey, come back here! Ooh, a preemptive attack. Kill you. And are there any more up here still? There are not. Okay, that should leave me with... Oh, one more guy. Okay. Take on this guy. Another preemptive type. Attack. Yeah, I can speak. Alright. Nope. I tried to go into the menu, but it uh, didn't want to uh, let me there. Do I have to go help you, or...? I don't think I'm supposed to go help you. I think I'm supposed to get prepared for... Okay, I'm back from setting up here. As far as my stuff goes, we have Bart set up with uh, Double Grip as a Samurai with his new sword, which, compared to his previous one, is a decent amount better. I like the Strength Robe over the Gold Armor because... One defense, two magic defense, offsetting that for three strength. I think I like that a little more. Um, that's the only other thing he can equip. Unfortunately, even though he's a, a physical type job class, he cannot use the uh, power, whatever it is, the uh, power ring, power wrist, whatever it is. Uh, you are set up as a white mage. You are set up as a summoner with a thunder rod. Um, secondary ability is combined. Secondary ability is blue magic. And you have steel because I'm going to want that. As far as equipment goes, exactly what you expect. You can decide to take the bone mail off for like all uh, battle or like boss fights if you want. Uh, in fact, in this fight, it probably doesn't matter, so I'm just gonna put that on. But uh, anyway, Starkle, Starkle, little twink. Oh, he's playing on words. I, I gotcha. We're, we're no longer a star, not in his eyes anyway. Anyway, first thing we want to do is steal Genji Gloves. Make sure you get that. Second, um, you know what? Just to make my life easier, since I stole that on the first go, I'm going to make a safe state here, because Phoenix Down, Dark Matter, Death Potion, I win. And yeah, you get some dialogue for something that doesn't make a whole lot of sense if you don't fight the battle normally. But that's it. You want to cheese through the fight? Cheese through the fight. You don't want to cheese through the fight. Uh, we, there's a bunch of other things we can do. He is susceptible to mute. 
not that it'll prevent him from doing that, so that can be helpful. Um, he is also susceptible to darkness, death, old, berserk, and slow. Really? Died already? Alright, so we want to use flash on you. Get darkness set up. There we go. And then I want to combine a phoenix down with... It's with a potion. Do I have any of those potions still? There we go. And that combination gives you a life 2 effect. Resurrection, potion, and a phoenix down. Now he's in darkness, so I don't have to worry about him anymore. So I can just beat away on him. Uh, let's see, what else? He can get hit by Titan, or you can use Ramu on him if you wanted to. Pretty much whatever you need to do to take him down. He has 8,888 HP, and it disappears quite quickly with the abilities that we can uh, use about this point. But, after you deal enough damage to him, Enkidu shows up. Now, this is a reference, of course, to Enkidu and... Uh, and Gilgamesh, the story I believe from myth, or, uh, Nor Norse mythology. Uh, Enkidu has 4,000 HP, as you can see by his White Wind there. You cannot learn White Wind from him. Uh, there's no way of getting it, even if you use control on him, which he is susceptible to. Um, to prevent him from continuously using it, though, uh, you need to take care of him real quickly. He's also susceptible to death, so you can death potion him if you want. Uh, he's susceptible to darkness, old, berserk, silence, which would do it. Slow, control, which would do it. And gravity, if you want to do that. So, what I'm going to do to start with, just in case he decides to do things again, I'm just going to hit him with mute, so we don't have to worry about that. And... You can beat away on that one. And then Blue Magic. We can hit him with Deathclaw if we want to take him down because he's susceptible to gravity. Gravity is both like things like Deathclaw and Missile if you want to do that. If you want to take him down fairly, you can use, uh, let's see here, uh, something like Ramu, something that hits both enemies would be preferable. As I said there, you can use Deathclaw and reduce him down to negligible amounts right off the uh, bat if you really want to. Um, I'm not going to do that. Use Water Scrolls, non-elemental damage. Uh, there's no elemental affinity other than you can't use Earth Elemental. Ow. On, uh, I guess you can still use Wind Slash. But, uh, there's no elemental affinity other than you can't use Earth on uh, Enkidu there. And let's see, so keep up with Ramu. You could cast Golem if you wanted to protect against physical damage. That's fine too. But I'm not even going to worry about it. Probably need to uh, reestablish Flash about now. That's probably a good idea. Um, if you also want to, you can use a Maiden's Kiss and a Revivify and target an enemy. Wrong one. That's the wrong one. That is um, Kiss of Blessing. I was... What was I trying to do? I was trying to use something else. See, that will inflict Berserk, and it bypasses Berserk immunity. Um, we'll get into that more later. Uh, image and Haste, I believe. And, yeah, and Berserk. So I, I did the wrong one. I was supposed to do a Turtle Shell and a uh, Maiden's Kiss there. But, oh well. Luckily, he seems to be missing, so I wanted to do a Maiden's Kiss and one of those Turtle Shells. Since he's already dead, I'll use it on uh, him, because Drain Kiss does a whole whack ton of damage and drains it to you, just don't use it on the undead. And yeah, if you kill Enkidu first, he turns around, gets all paranoid, and runs away. Just make sure that you steal the uh, the Genji Gloves before the end of this fight, because that's the really important bit. There's nothing useful you can steal from uh, from Enkidu, so don't worry about that. Uh-oh. Well, that's not particularly useful. Well, you tried to pull him over the edge, but it didn't seem to work too well. But the old man's hands are not. Hmm... Should I cut the episode off here? Hmm. Aw, you've ruined my fun. It's gonna cliffhang you here. <laughs> 
Anyway, lots of ways to take down those guys. Um, Gilgamesh is immune to gravity. You can't use uh, Death Glow on him, but you can use Death as you saw there. Lots of ways to take him down there if you uh, so desire. I like a lot of the battles against Gilgamesh. It's uh, relatively interesting what uh, what you can do in those fights and pretty much just how funny Gilgamesh is in this game. You know, he's pretty much funny in every incarnation of a Final Fantasy game where he's in, but... Anyway, now we can put uh, Dash back on for the meantime. There we go, much better. Hate moving slow. Do you see anything? He's on the room to the left, so now I don't go... Actually... Yeah, we'll go to the room to the right first and get out of my way. Because I get a free rest out of that, don't I? Take a rest. Fast forward. Alright. So, let's go talk to Zezza, and then I think we'll call her a day. Come on. Move. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Take the other side. Sure. Okay, what'd that do? Oh! Even though it looks just like the one beside it, it doesn't uh, seem to do anything. Alright, let's go. They built a submarine? The anachronism of the old school Final Fantasy games never ceases to amaze me. You know, they have airships and they're, you know, cooking on fires and, you know, they create an airship or they create a submarine and you know the the most basic thing you look at it's like there's no insulation in that house they don't have electricity they're using candles like what this doesn't make any sense the boats are a decoy we're going to sneak into the barrier tower from the bottom of the sea in the submarine and we've dug a tunnel to the tower so i guess we're gonna go blow up the tower and they do this for you automatically. You don't get a choice in the matter, so that's fine. All right, let's go. Does he pull you out right away? No, he does not. Uh, anytime you want to, you can head down here and get some rest for free, so that's nice. We probably will want to do a little bit of that. But anyway, let's go over here and talk to you. Stay back, okay. Boom! Hey, look, a doorway. Isn't that how they make doorways? I think that's the best way to make doorways. Alright, so let's go uh, talk to you. Let's figure out what the plan is. I love this dungeon music. So good. So sinister. Love it. Anyway, if we destroy one of the barrier towers, the barrier should disappear. You'll go to the power room down below, and I go to the antenna on the top floor. Break the antenna? Sure! Power stopped, blow up the antenna. Cool! Sounds like fun. And take this with you. We get the Echo, or in Final Fantasy IV, I think at one point they translated this as the Echo Grass, or something like that. It's just a two-way communication tool because, you know, walkie-talkies don't exist, so they gotta make a magical version of it. See what I mean about the technology making no sense? Damn anachronism. Anyway, that's pretty much all the time we have for today. Next time, we are going to head into the Barrier Tower. And this is the area that I wanted to be level 24 for. So, almost uh, ready to level. Perfect, we'll level up in the next battle. And then we'll be able to learn the final two or three blue magic spells that are level based. And then we won't have to worry about our levels for the rest of the game, which is good because in this area, I will be doing a little bit of farming, which is going to involve a little bit of leveling up. So anyway, that's all for this one. And I'll see you guys next time.